building the foundation, setting up your organization structure in ACP as for HANA. Cloud just got more intuitive. A, SAP implementation guru and a functional consultant. Setting up the organizational structures, defining company codes, plans, storage location, sales org is the absolute bedrock of any SAP s app cloud implementation. Is where your business literally takes shape within the system. Forget purely transaction-based, complex path. In SAP uh, s app cloud, often yeah, central business configuration, the setup organizational structure up is transforming this crucial says. This app provides a graphic guide and intuitive way to build your structure based on your activate business scope. It's a game changer because it offers visual clarity, guide process, simplified creation, centralized management, multi-language support. So in this video, we will extend uh, the existing organizational structure in ACP Central Business Configuration. We have created previously a plant in a company code and assigned it to a purchasing organization. Right now, we will create a storage location in the new, um, in the previous created plant. So for that, we called the application um manage your manage your solution okay i'm going to the link central business configuration i closed i partage my screen so this screen is the initial screen of the central business configuration project experience. We have selected a project of implementation type in the scope and organizational structure phase. Um, to create the stock structures, organizational structure, you must have completed the defined scope project activity and confirmed the, the, the scoping. Uh, you must also have completed a, a specified primary financial setting milestone. So the first uh, path key uh, is uh, to open, uh, start the setup, the application is set up organizational structures up. Structure organizational, set up organizational structure. View. Okay, that is a setup. I click on edit. So edit organizational structure. If you edit organizational structure on one on multiply, okay, I click on so again. I show you I have in organizational structures. I click on edit. Okay, I select change the status and I click on again on edit. Okay, organizational tour is editable right now. So, first um, we have to identify uh, the, uh, the plant where we need to create a new uh, storage location. So, uh, just looking at for which plants I need to create a new storage location. Okay, so for that, I expand my screen. I'm looking for my company code. I can reduce like this and 
company code C, company code K, K, K. Okay. Simplify. Okay, I would like to create inside the plant, key P01, a new storage location. So for my plant, I can see right now, I've got all the information and the most important and in the um, right side, you see, it's create storage location. It's very simple. I just have to click on create storage location. Okay, I have to put some information mandatory, the ID, the name, the city, and the subtype of my storage location. I try to respect the, um, the, the code, for example, if I want to create um, a return storage location. So previously I created a storage location 105, 105, so 105, 105, uh, sorry, 105, there, for return. So right now I complete the monetary field. What is the name? Return, return storage location, return storage location. Storage location, where is the city X and the subtype? Uh, the subtypes I've got the subtypes return to classify my warehouse. Okay, then I just have to create, just have to click on create. As you can see, it's simple. Okay, organization unit return storage created. Then, okay, for the moment, the statue is not confirmed. I need to confirm this creation. So, I, I quit, leave the full screen, and then I click on confirm. In the confirm, I confirm my activity. I create a new storage location inside my plant key PC1 inside my company code key PC1. Okay, I select and I confirm. Right now, currently, the organizational structure cannot be edited due to ongoing life cycle operation okay i just have to wait okay as you see the statues right now is reopen and the confirmation progress so you can leave the screen and go back later when your uh, your setup organizational structure will be completely structured. So I can see ninety nine percent. Okay. Okay, next step, I complete activity. So if I go back, 
I'm going to display the information. I'm going to, to see storage location for my plant. Okay. Plant, plant, plant. Okay. I will show you uh, another view. For example, if I show you like this, I say into my KPC, I identify my return storage location. Right now it's confirmed. So I complete activity. I read the instruction. Yes. Okay. Right now, the next step is deploy Scott organization structure. I need to deploy. Then you can check the deployment statue. Okay. Deployment. I can add a text. New storage location 0 0.5. New storage location. Yes, I confirm. Your workspace is located due to ongoing deployment. Okay, I agree. And in a few minutes, you see the storage location will be available for all more processes for purchase order or sales order, for example. So 20%, I see in live, in live um, the, the progression statue of the I update. Fifty percent. So it's this will be good in a few minutes. So if I go back there, if I'm looking for, for example, to um, single single material. I would like for a AC, AC material, for example, if I click on, um, oh no, um, manage, manage stock, manage stock, and on AC material, I click on enter. If I click on add storage location, you see right now. The storage location, I've got return storage location is right now available. So 
is simple to create um, structures, plant, story location, um, distribution channel easily and uh, in a S4HANA public cloud. Thank you so much.